Today I'm gonna play a pirate game. You know, pirates, those guys who sail the seven seas, plunder for booty, and rob passing ships in the night. And they wear awesome hats, and often have parrot whispering talents. What game really captures this more than any other? The obvious answer is Puzzle Pirates. <laughs> Puzzle Pirates. I always knew pirates secretly loved puzzles in the schoolyard when I told people about my theory of Captain Puzzlebeard. The other kids called me crazy, but now I have a game to prove it. Oh, and what better way to start than a 15 second loop of music. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Oh, and now I get to make my pirate to the 15 second loop of music. I'll be humming it by tomorrow. So, this game has some very interesting regulations when it comes to naming your pirate. You know, websites and companies always do this thing, but for some reason they need their own special rules for creating your username or password. You know, put a 1 in there, put a 7, you need a number, you need a letter, you need a character, you need... You know, you need a capital letter, you need a lowercase letter, you need all these random things, just because... Fuck you. Logic. This game takes it to a whole new level. First of all, you can only use letters to name your character. Only use letters. You can't be Pirate 5. You have to be Pirate... Spelled out 5, and that's just... I can't work with that. Also, you can't have the same letter three times in a row, which... Uh, why? That seems like such an arbitrary thing. Then you aren't allowed to capitalize any letter, except for the first, which is always capitalized. And you are not allowed to have spaces. You know, I really don't know how people got, you know, people have creativity. People want to put their names in. They want to be heard. And, you know, I don't know if they're going to be able to work around it in this case. This is some really, really annoying regulations. But, you know, I'm sure I can still think of a wonderful pirate, great name, and a great persona in order to really wrap me into the world of Puzzle Pirates. Okay, uh, let's get some finishing touches here. Done! I introduce you to... Pokemon, the Mexican-Hispanic woman who is under the age of five. She could be two. She could be four. It's one of nature's mysteries. You know what? I'm happy with this character. Let's get into the game. Uh oh, you have to be older than 13. But I am older than 13. Huh. So, wait. Let me get this straight. That wasn't my character's age. It was actually an age authenticator conveniently placed on the character creation screen. And now I can't play the game. I can't make another account. I can't restart the game in order to get back to the character creator. I, I can't... I can't do anything. Re really, what is even the issue with someone under 13 being exposed to a game where pirates are toned down from their normal image of, like, killing people and robbing, and are instead made out to just be, like, puzzle-loving parrot speakers. I... Will that scar them? Somehow? I, I don't... I don't know. Well, I, I, that's all, I guess. There's nothing else to see here. Oh, the game gave up on that whole age thing after a little while. I guess it assumes that after 12 hours, a person some age under 5 can become some age over 13. Well, it's time to make a new character, and I won't be making the same mistake this time. Thinking of a character was a bit more difficult this time, but I finally decided on Gooey Beard, the pirate that has messy eating habits. He's 50 plus years old, and it's impressive he even lived this long with scurvy and tetanus and, you know, murderous pirates. They play Tetris with the bodies! So, Captain Show Me How shows up and tells me some things, but not before cutting out all the music. This guy is notorious for this kind of thing. You man, stop your fucking playing, you fucking asshole! First, Captain Show Me How shows Gooey Beard his new pirate home. Dude, there, there's nothing here. Gooey Beard is expected to eat on the floor and sleep on it. And imagine the splinters. That is not fine wood. And I'm sure there's a poop joke somewhere around here, but we don't go there on this show. We have standards. Oh shit! Fuck a dolphin. Okay, so we have some quests here. 
plunder? I want to learn to plunder. Let's go. So apparently the first step to any good plunder is bilging. Oh man, here's the first puzzle. What could it be? So all you do is swap two pieces horizontally and match three colors with them. What a great puzzle. Next is Sailing, where you play a shitty spin-off version of Dr. Mario. Next! Oh shit! Apparently that sailing pulled off because our ship just tethered to the enemy ship. Is it time for an epic battle? Sword fight? Yeah, let's sword fight. I'm sure it's not another falling block game. Oh come on, what the fuck? Well, at least I won. Ooh, spoils. I'll put them in my spoils bag. Oh, time to repair the ship. I wonder if that's another Match 3 puzzle game! Oh, it's not a Match 3 puzzle game. So this game is actually unique enough to talk about for more than three seconds? Blasphemous. So you take these blocks and fill the holes. If you don't tend to a hole for too long, it will start breaking apart. But I have trouble caring when you can place planks and other planks, meaning you can just randomly place them and there appears to be almost no penalty for doing so. Ah, well that was a really puzzle-filled pillaging. Let's try patching a sail. Oh man, they're on a roll, it's not another match three. So in this game you connect the spool to the stitching. This appears to be functional. Wow, they even have a time mechanic to keep you on your toes. Wait, this one's impossible. Oh! You can drag them around. Then, then what's the point? You can just make a straight line and beat the level in under five seconds! <sighs> What's the next game? Man, this game sucks. I want to punch something. Oh, there's a puzzle about fighting? I'm going to unleash my rage in a puzzling format. That's it, I'm done with this puzzle shit, I'm going home. There's a rat in here? What? You want me to keep him as a pet? He probably is fucking typhus!